This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Dave Chappelle ended up having to cancel his shows in Austin, Texas, and that's because he tested positive for COVID-19. Now, his rep did release a statement. Dave Chappelle is quarantined after testing positive for COVID. His remaining shows have been canceled, and ticket holders should contact their point of purchase for refunds. Chappelle has safely conducted socially distanced shows in Ohio since June 2020, and he moved those shows to Austin during the winter. Chappelle implemented COVID protocols, which included rapid testing for the audience and daily testing for himself and his team. His diligent testing enabled him to immediately respond by quarantining, thus mitigating the spread of the virus. Chappelle is asymptomatic. Now, I saw that Dave Chappelle was trending along with Grimes, and Grimes is Elon Musk's girlfriend, and then they posted a picture of them together and what people are saying is that she had tested positive for covid and posted about it on january 9th <gasps> and so now people are thinking that's where it came from have they contacted you angela because they got to do contact tracing you was in contact with dave Chappelle this weekend well his team definitely did contact me and i did get tested again yesterday tested negative and i get tested again today i think we should take angela so. at breakfast club court this morning what do you think? She might be Dramos, part. Of, she might be part. She might be part of the problem when it comes to COVID. Well, we can't do it now. But I'm just so saying. So you want to take it to court next hour? I think we, we might have to take Envy to, to court. We have to take Envy to court too because he's Why? been DJing parties in Atlanta. But he comes back to New York and quarantines Angela Yee. You didn't I'm do that. I'm by myself. You know you're supposed to get tested. They said five days after you come back. That's, that's when what you Envy start, does. That's, that's what, what I did. But you got. But they also say you got a quarantine. You didn't do that, Angela Yee. I got tested. I got my test. Results back uh, yesterday, you, last night, actually. You, you was with Dave Chappelle all weekend in Austin, and then for whatever reason decided to come to the studio on Tuesday with with, with somebody else who was with Dave Chappelle all weekend. Who? Now I'm you, a artist. Now you're oh, in Atlanta. Oh, oh. According to the right. CDC guidelines, when you come in state to New York City, you're supposed to self-quarantine just in case. Well, we'll do that next hour. What else we got here? All right, now we are going to talk about uh, Donovan Mitchell. He has a one-word reply to Shaquille O'Neal, and Shaquille O'Neal had something to say to him about his game. By the way, Shaq, I said tonight that uh, you are one of my favorite players, but you don't have what it takes to get to the next level. I said it on purpose. I want you to hear it. What do you have to say about that? All right. That's it. <laughs> that's it? All right. That's it. Okay, cool. I mean, I want you I, to hear it. I've been hearing, well, Shaq, I've been hearing that since my rookie year. You know, I'm just going to get okay, better and well, do what I do. Good. At the end well, of the day. Well, that's what I want you to hear you say. Yes, love sir. your game, brother. Keep it up. Appreciate it. I love that answer, I, man. Me too. Cause I, I love it. Because I'm going to show and prove through actions and deeds, not words and lip service. There's nothing I can tell you right now to prove you wrong. No. I got to show you. Shaq's my guy, too. But, hey, I ain't got to answer to you. I'll show you. I'm cool. Word. Now, I'm not going to say you don't have to answer him. You just don't have no answer because he's right. Yeah, up, up and, up I'm going to bust your ass. But what, what but, am I saying? I'm going to do better next time? No, show me. But up, yeah, up until this point, Donovan Mitchell hasn't you know, shown that. So he's, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you, Shaq. That's all. Mm -hmm. All right. Shaq's also been hired by the sheriff's office in Georgia. He is the community relations director. What is that? Uh, they want him to help bring the community closer and... A bridge the gap between community and law enforcement. He's always wanted to be a sh uh, police officer, though. Shaquille Yeah. Him. Well, I think he was, he was a, a sheriff a in California or oh, Florida, one of those, right? Yeah, he was already sworn in as a deputy uh, previously, so they're going to be having a big press conference about that. Now let's talk about Keisha Cole and Ashanti, and we'll be discussing that this morning. Their versus battle went down last night, and it didn't get off very smooth. It did start a little late. I saw Swizz was in the comments saying, this is very disrespectful. Can't lie, man. It was supposed to start at 8 p.m. It didn't start for like another hour. Um, but then when it did finally start, of course, it was very exciting. Keisha Cole did bring out OT Genesis as a guest. Much that better, was dope. much better visual though. Yeah, much better visual. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was dope. Yeah. I'm, I'm, they still they didn't seem like they squashed their beef yet. But it, it, I'm just happy that they were in the same room. They were able to do that. Ashanti and Keisha Cole had a beef. No, Keisha Cole and OT oh, Genesis. Keisha Cole and OT and Genesis. Oh, got you, got you, got. You. I mean, clearly they squashed now, their beef. If she was there. Nah, she's still a little one upset, person though. who did not appreciate OT Genesis being there was Keisha Cole's sister. No, I'm a Keisha to the day I die. I'm a 
But when you let a nigga hug you, that got on the internet joking about selling your mama motherfucking crap, that's when I gotta take a step back. Oh, I didn't know he did all that. Yeah. It I was just, pretty harsh. They were back and forth, yeah. I just respect the fact that, you know, OT Genesis, who was a crip, was not in the room with the red bag of Doritos. Yeah, they had Cool up, Ranch man. for Keisha set and red for Ashanti. I thought that was good coordination. People paying attention All to right, detail. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report. All right, we got front page news next. What are we talking about? Yes, and we are going to talk about diversity. And, you know, Donald Trump had tried to say get rid of all the diversity training in certain cases. And now uh, Joe Biden, President Biden, has brought that back. He revoked that order banning diversity training. All right, we'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.